you are welcome back it's me your friend and welcome back to my platform mathematics with edu either i remain edu either thank you for as many who have been subscribing making their comments and we've been responding yes i've been responding to the comments and for the likes for the recommendations I'm super grateful 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 oh good um we are going to be taking something on equations involving fractions that's what we do today so let's see but before this please for as many who are yet to subscribe please as you're watching my videos encourage me by subscribing yeah 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 thank you already good so let's speak when we have equations that involve fractions such that there is an unknown there just an unknown a variable how do we go about this let's take example one This question says you have 2 upon 3 x plus 6 equal to 1. What do we do? When you have a question like this, the first thing that should come to your mind is what we are actually looking out for and that is variable x this variable x you're saying that what we are calculating so what do you do look at how you can get rid of whatever it's you know multiplying or around x and what is around x is what is multiplying x is 2 upon 3 but since it is an equation the first thing you do is to clear the denominators that is ensure that your equation has no fraction that's the first step so how do we get that here done here do you know i can write over 3x plus 6 as 2 over 3x plus 6 over 1 yeah the same thing as 6 so i can find the lcm of the denominators that is the lcm of 3 and 1 lcm of 3 and 1 <coughs> lcm of 3 and 1 that is the denominator of 6 that should be equal to 3 or just multiply the two them you have 3 then multiply 2 by this LCM to multiply 2 by this LCM you're going to be having okay let me let's do this let me clear this so you have so we have enough space 3 times 2 over 3 X is 3 times 6 is equal to 3 times 1. Don't forget, you are multiplying through. Yeah, you're multiplying through. So here now, 3 cancel out 3. So you have 2x plus 18 and that can be equal to what? 3. Now you now have a linear equation such that there is no fraction all you have is variable and the constants so what do we do now you collect like terms such that you have your 2x you can add, subtract 18 from both sides that means this side you have because you are trying to get rid of 18 you are looking for x 3 is multiplying x plus 18 so it's 18 you get rid of first you have plus 18 minus 18 is equal to 3 minus 18 so this cancel this so what do we have here we are going to be having 2x to be equal to what is 3 minus 18 that's minus 15. now you are calculating x right to get rid of 2 you do have to divide it by 2 so i haven't divided this by 2 you also have to divide this by 2 this cancel out this so your x can be equal to minus minus seven row number one over two. 
So that's what we have for question one. Let's quickly take example two. Please, while watching the video, this video, you can just try as much as possible to pause as much as possible such that you understand how each step we're taking. These are just basic mathematics, so you shouldn't have problem with it. So let's go to example two. Let's do something before I stop this video. I have um, two. I haven't got into. We have here this question. Let's have this eighteen. Open bracket minus three x minus eight upon nine is equals to eighteen. Open another bracket here five over nine. Oh, sorry, five over six. We are equally looking for x here, right? So before anything, look at this place. The right hand equation, the right hand side of this equation, 18 should multiply the bracket. That is open up the bracket first. And the right hand side of the equation, 18 should also do the same thing to 5 over 6. So let's go. 18 times 3x, what do we have? 3 times 18. 3 times 8 is m. That will be minus something anyway. Put your minus 3 times 8, 24. You keep 2. 3 times 1, 3 plus 2, that is 54. You have minus 54. Then you equally have minus. So if I let me do this so that you don't have to mix this up, you have 18 times minus 3x. Then you have minus 18 times 8 over 9 and that can be equal to 18 times 5 over 6 so this will give us 18 times 3 that will minus 54 x 9 year 1 9 year 2 minus 2 times 8 that is 16 and that can be equal to 6 year 1 6 year 3 3 times 5, that is 15. So what do we have? We have 54 minus 54 x can be equal to, we have 15 plus 16. We're supposed to add 16 to both sides here so that you cancel out this 16. So you have 15 plus 16 here. Then <coughs> what do we have? Minus 54 x can be equal to what 15 plus 16 5 plus 6 11 keep 1 1 plus 1 that is 2 plus this 31 so let me manage this side so invariably now your x will be equal to 31 over minus You can't break this down, so you stop there. Yes, if you have any question, any comment, make it known in the comment box. Any question, the same thing, use the comment box. Please kindly like my videos. If you find them interesting, as in you find them educative enough for you, like, make a comment, share with friends, and please do subscribe. Thank you very much. For joining me.